Hey guys, and welcome back to Star Wars Fallen Order, where we just got our new destination, going to the planet Zepho. Uh, we just learned about the Jedi holocron with a list of four sets of children and everything. And I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Yeah. So we're heading back to the Mantis. I think it's Hello. Scanning again? My friend, it appears the Sepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Another one? Bogwin You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care yeah. who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patchouli weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. 
A long time ago. Yeah, I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. That's one to keep. <laughs> With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. It's your choice. Probably Zepho, being that that's the one that was mentioned first. What's this? Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. I wonder where we should go next. Definitely yeah, there. Travel. Here we go. Zepho. This whole journey has put a lot of wear and tear on the Manus. Like it was perfect before? It was a masterpiece, but now, ugh. Just don't be surprised if I send you a bill. Someone's low on funds. I mean, sure, okay, that may be part of it, but I'm used to it. Were you rich growing up? Wealth isn't really a priority for Jedi. Yeah, well, I was poor too, but it wasn't so bad. My crew and I would find things to do for cheap. That's where I learned how to play Subhawk. A game which requires credits. Strange choice. Well, we were kids. We bet all kinds of dumb things, from food to funny-shaped rocks. Unfortunately, things changed when we got older. Funny-shaped rocks didn't go so far anymore. The galaxy would be a better place if they did. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. That's a hurricane. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Oh. 
couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect. Perfect landing. <laughs> Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I think it's sealed. Watch out, BD. You don't look friendly. You're not friendly. Stormtrooper. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zepho. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into the air. this fabric to keep her child warm. You were on the run from something. Stim crate should be here. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. Take him down! Shoot him again. Get yourselves! You 
So, warning sign. It's so quiet since we relocated the villagers. Hey, an intruder! Mm -hmm. Okay then. I can't do this by myself. Another one? This will be fun. Stop slipping away. Stand and wait. Okay, I'm done. I guess it's a weird special pay for that. That's our own. <laughs> Go. I'll lead them away. I'll start. No! Couple separated. Bag left by families that became separated. Yes. It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. Jedi! Stay on you! forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees, shipped off to work camps, or worse. Eardrum. Whoa, now it'll get better eventually. No, it won't. It's gonna 
can't be this way forever. It's the Jedi. We'll make you pay. Do it. Come back here. Did you find something, BD1? More lightsabers. Tricks. That's convenient. Put the lights at the end of the track. Yep, I knew it. This will be fun. Fast, like a problem. Don't get too close. We'll be fine. 
Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. In the next one, we're going to continue on the Zephyr and hopefully get to that vault over there in the distance. Whoa. That's got to be one of the Zephyr. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? But in the meantime, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more episodes, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.